welcome to London St Pancras or St Pancras International, should you want to call it that. We are driving 395, in particular 395014 with poppies and, so there you go, so we're driving the Victoria Cross and 395015 live on. So we are driving good old javelin rail tour today. Sort of doing my own operation javelin, but you know how it is. Not all of it's in train simulator, so I've made up my own little route for us to go on today. So it should be fun. It should be fun. So, got a, another AI coming in there, which is fun. Right, let's get set up. Not a whole lot to do. That's it. Headlights on. Ada S. There we go. What is that sound pack? It's a free sound pack that can be linked to somewhere. Oh, I hear it. I hear a Eurostar. There we go. Eurostar's on the way now. It's done. The, the, the reskin's done by a guy called Class 465. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Just set. Yeah, Class 465 sound pack. He's coming to a stop. Alright. So off this guy goes. So he's going first, then we'll go. We'll follow on behind him. All right, off, off that train goes. It's always fun. Need proper Eurostars in game. <laughs> oh well, it's the best we got for now. Once he gets out of the way, we'll be on our rail tour. Just got to let our um, our passengers on for this for this journey. It's going to be fun. So yes, starting off at good old St Pancras. Going to take plenty of screenshots. That's what's going to happen. Right, doors are closed. Oh, hello. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I shouldn't have left it in forwards. Shut up. <laughs> Should ne never, ever, ever leave it in forwards. Always put it in neutral. Right, we've got a uh, Meridian heading off towards probably, what, Sheffield or Nottingham, some sort of place. And we have a signal, which is good, so we can get going. And off we go. So, our first stopping point is Ebbsfleet, where we need to switch to third rail. But until then, it's, a, it's just a straight shot along high speed one, so it should go pretty smoothly. Should go pretty smoothly indeed. Alright, 25, or about 40 kilometers per hour. We might see some Om Nom, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. If I feel it's a, a worthy moment. Of course, it's not exactly an Om Nom day as such, it's more Remembrance Day, but we shall see. Alright, let's start going downhill. Leaving London. That's it. Excellent. And in we go. See in the passenger view. I love the passenger view in here. It's a very, very detailed one. In terms of, you know, very accurate to the train, which is nice. Alright, let's go. Bit more speed up. That's it. Have ever been on the HS1? I've been. On, I've lost count how many times I've been on HS1. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So yes, this scenario started at eight o'clock in the morning. You'll see how time progresses as we go on today. It's rather fun. Sixty. <laughs> slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. That's it. There is a tolerance, but I'd rather not speed. That's it. Let's go. 225. So the first bit is in a tunnel, so it will be a bit dark, but it should be fine. A bit brighter in here, I think. Yeah. Although I can't hear the uh, the vigilance device in here, so, you know, I have to not spend too long in here. But it is pretty cool. It's a couple of biscuits as well. These biscuits have been sitting on this table for about four years. They're, I would not eat those. 
I would not eat those at all. Alright, I think that Eurostar's out our way now. Eurostar have already extended to Marseille. Which is fun. Amsterdam's next year, isn't it? Which is cool. Alright, getting up to speed. It sounds pretty awesome. This this sound pack, it sounds pretty good. When you get up to high speed in the tunnels. Very accurate. I almost don't want to talk, but, you know, I might as well keep on going. There's Vigilance. Yeah, I think you can just about hear it. It's just the louder sounds that are probably would make it harder to hear. I just don't want to miss it. I want to drive well today. Right, just approaching. So yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've reached 125, 130. It's all good. It's all good. Approaching our top speed. It's not a JT sound back, no. Bring the power back a little bit now. Approaching Stratford International. Basically, we should be flying through 140, which is great. Nice and loud in here. Great fun. Cut power. We'll probably stick it in notch one and be okay. Quite the gradient coming up. Stratford approaches. In fact, I, should, I almost should say... We're going to go up here and watch it fly through. I think that's something we need to do. It's a classic. It's a classic movement to go up here and watch a train fly through. It's got to be done. That's it. Zoom in. That's it. That pantograph is very high. Flying through at 140. Live on. Awesome. Very awesome. Right, speeding slightly. That's fine. Bring itself back down. That's it. Bring the hub back in for a minute. I've been the southwestern main line once, quite a long time ago. Okay, right, we'll be out the tunnels at some point in the future. Should be nice. Actually, see some scenery. I do love high speed one. I literally, it's, it's amazing. It literally is amazing. I love it so much. 395 is the best thing ever. God, rocketing along now. I know the rattling's so good, isn't it? Especially if you're going here. A bit noisier in here. It's really good. It's really good. Right, should be out the tunnels soon. They are some of the they are pretty much the longest tunnels in the country. So, you know, even at 140, it does take a little while. But we'll, we'll be out soon. It's a free sound pack. It's a uh, official class 465 dot weebly dot something. I think it's uh, it's linked to on a, on my another video of mine that I did on the 395 recently. So it'll be there. Go and have a look. I can't link to it right now because I'm driving. Right, there's the there's the uphill climb out of the tunnel. Dart along the uh, dart along the open industrial plains of Essex and North Kent, which is fun. Right, 
We won't be really calling at any stations. It's mostly non-stop with letting people off to have a couple of snacks and, you know, stretch your legs breaks. This is a rail tour, so there's not really any calling points. We're only stopping at Ebsley to switch power modes. We could probably do it on the move, but I don't want to. Right, a bit more power. We have exited the tunnels. That's it. Victoria Cross. Flying through. I don't know if anyone will be available to actually approve anyone posting the link either. That's fun. Right. One notch is going to keep us happy. Notch one, I think, for now. Yeah, that's alright. Racing along. So they've got the London Tilbury and Southland Railway to our left. That one there, which is nice. Very nice. Do a flyby next to the track. Okay, in a minute. <laughs> in a minute, hang on. I've got to pick a decent spot when I'm actually remaining in control of the train. I think, well, this guy's here will be a good job. Good time to do it. Right, so let's just. Uh... There you go. How's this going to be for a flyby? This should be pretty good. Nice. Nice. Right. 225 still looking good. Only seven miles to Lebsley. Fly along high speed one. It's, it's different to the one on railsim.de. This is a different one. You're a star hype. It uses the same bass sounds, but it's set up differently, and I prefer it. I prefer the Class 465, Class 395 sound back, if you, if you will. They are a bit different. Fly over London Tilbury and South End. Sit. Yes, Hornbees 395, if you get a premium one, is actually very good. I do own one. I got the original 395001. When's the last time I derailed due to overspeeding? It's been ages. Relax. Relax. Right, there's the big dip down to the Thames Tunnel. Okay, that just sounds like we're in, a, we're in an aircraft right now, which is fantastic. We are literally flying along the line here. As QE2 bridge popped into existence. All right, slow down. So keep slowing down. And under the Thames. Down to 170. It's so a 1 in 40 gradient. The braking is uh, take, does, does take its toll. We're, gonna, we're not going to miss. We're going to miss that one. Right. Heavy braking. That's it, we'll be okay now. Got the uphill. The pantograph is aligned with the overhead at St Pancras and Ebbsfleet, but it's a different hikes along the entire route. But no one's done a. The only people to have ever done dynamic pantograph height is uh, Thompson Interactive on the uh, Albula and Arosa lines, which are quite new in comparison to this. So. Right, there we go. It's 100 just in time. Nice. We could just stick it along now. Just generally slow down. It's all good. I 
There's Zeb's Fleet International Platform 6. We shall stop there and switch over to third rail mode. That is the plan, anyway. Coming in nice and slow. I'll speed up a tiny bit. Don't want it to take forever doing this. I think the pantograph height aligns a little bit better. Or failing that, it just goes too high. But I think it is at different heights because high-speed ones built to a European standard, so the wires would be a bit higher than they would be, say, on the East Coast mainline, for example, in certain, certain places. Good morning, Mr. TFL. Good morning. Welcome to Ebb's Fleet International. Hey, see the pantograph's the right height here. There's the six car marker. Where's our nice 12 car marker? It's further up there. Oh, well, you know, don't have to be exactly precise about this. It's not like we're letting people off. We're just changing power modes. Nice. Right, so. DC. Pan up, shoes down. Pan up, shoes down. Excellent. We're on miles per hour. Just got to wait for the little timer to tick along. Then we can get going again. Nice. Look at that. The Victoria Cross. Lovely. Right, we can go. Notice the notice where we're stopping. <laughs> Off we go. And now on third rail, we can continue along North Kent line, which is going to be fun. And then join the Chatham Main Line and go to Sheerness on Sea. It's going to be good. 27 and a half miles to go. Right. See ya, Icy Wolf. Thanks for watching. Right, that'll do, mate. 40 miles an hour is good for around here. And onto the North Kent line we go. That's it. It's not really an issue you can fix, crazy guy, because Trainston just sees electrification really as electrification. It's more just a case of uh, flipping a switch, having different physics for each power mode would be a bit tricky. So, yes. Alright, see you Marcus Futtis. Thanks for watching. That's 465. Let's get some screenshots around here. Should be good, especially with the poppies there. It's going to look awesome. You see, that's just what you want. That's just what you want. A bit more. That's it. It's Poppy Central today. Nice. Right. Let's get down for this 30. Which is Gravesend. 
the nicely new modelled Gravesend. That's it. I'll get back up to speed shortly. That's it. You'll be surprised what Sheerness on Sea can take in terms of train length. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Yeah, if you press F2 when you're building a route, it will save. I'd also recommend you do it on minimum settings so it doesn't crash as often. That's it. There you go. Now it's got a 376 in the corner here, which is nice. Occupying platform zero. It's always fun. Just a reskin of the 378. Available, I, th I believe it's available on the same website as this reskin will be available on. So that's fun. Right, let's continue going. Be up to 50 soon, then 70. I'm not speeding, go away. That's fine. 25.36 miles to go until Sheerness on Sea. <sighs> if anything does go horribly wrong during this, it's because I haven't tested the scenarios. I'm just, just literally running off my own, you know, initially put together scenarios. <coughs> right. It says 50 now, so we're going to go now. Power 3 will be, uh, okay. Can we go no HUD? No, not really. I want to keep it up. Just so I can focus, especially when I go outside to look at poppies. Which is going to be quite a lot. Like right now. So, <laughs> that's it. I think that's what we're looking for right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's it. Are we stopping at the star fault? No, not today. Not today. I think the best thing, if you know, people think that the 395 accelerates too quickly on third rail. Just accelerate on notch three. Don't go any faster. That's uh, a bit more realistic then. So, 70 miles an hour. Until we reach Strood, which is a glorious 15 miles an hour. Right. Just got a fan between coasting and notch one now of power. No, I've not been on an 800 yet. Since I was asked yesterday. <laughs> right. Got quite a few whistleboards along this section, which is nice. past Who Junction first and then Hyam and then the tunnels. My yard decoration skills. Well, you'll see. A bit lazy probably, but you know, it's not, it's not too bad. My PC specs are on the about section of my channel where well, they've always been.
So we've got a couple of 59s. And just some general wagonage going on, which is pretty good. I didn't want to put too much down because the game would crash if I loaded in too much. So I, I didn't. Alright, now we're going to turn towards Higham. I think we'll get a nice fly pass shot at Higham, I think. Flying along at 70. Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's do it now. Because it's not far away. Higham. Here we come. Really far away, but, you know. Nonetheless. Awesome. Head west is gonna go off now. There we go. <laughs> and into Hyam Tunnel we go. Tunnel of Dead Straightness. It's going to be good. Twenty miles to go. We're about still Sheerness on C. Got a fifteen limit to break for. That's going to be fun. And into here, where canals used to pass each other. I want to fix those wipers. They're fine. It's by design. There we go. It's not very often you get a 12 car set running down to the Medway Towns. So that's rare enough in itself. Usually the ones you do see don't really ever stop at Strood either, so... That's always fun. We're driving a rail tour, you'll find out wherever where we're all going. Was there a station there? What, in that little gap? No, it was literally just a passing point for canals. This tunnel used to have one railway track on one side and a canal lane down the other. So, that's always fun. Alright, let's start braking. Got here so we can hear the nice braking sounds. That's it. Yeah, I did mention it last time, but people still ask, so you know. And it's always fun to know facts. Of course I'm looking forward to the 315. Give me a reason to drive on the Great Eastern Main Line again. Excellent. Strood! Strood hype. Old Strood. Well, a mix of old and new Strood anyway. Favourite station that high-speed one serves? It depends, are we talking by extension or literally just uh, on high-speed one? Because it probably have to be Ashford for the uh, variety, although St Pancras is also very nice. See, the Regency Javelin Rail Tour, which I went on last year, continued straight down towards Maidstone on the Mobile Valley Line. But we can't do that. For it is not in train simulator. So we shall turn 
and we shall head towards Rochester. That's it. Oh, nice. Look at that AI action. Very nice. Let's go up there and have a look, shall we? 375 moving away. I love it. One in 39 gradient. Really, really quite tricky to get a train up. <laughs> There's been a lot easier places, let's put it that way. There you go. Bit of poppy action right there. Come on! Get up the hill! That's it. It's the London Faversham version on Workshop with chat and mainline bolted onto it, so it's set in 2016. Which is always fun. Right. I'll bat to your first well, yeah, I imagine it is difficult. There's always steep gradients around there. Right, 25. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> so, in train sim, which this is a fun fact, this bit is a 15 limit, but in real world, it's a 25. That's because Dovetail built this section before it was finished in real life. So, um, I've edited it in the scenario, changed the speed limit. Which is fun, because we're taking, we're taking a platform 3. Because I wanted to. There we go. Look at that there. The cathedral in the background. Looks good. Screenshot worthy. Oh, hello. Got another 395 running around. Going where we just came from. Too busy looking at it to just, you know, just start speeding relentlessly. Alright, break for 15. Fifteens when we go past the signal here, pretty much. There we go. Have fun in Blender. It's always fun in Blender. There we go. It's amazing how slow the Medway towns are. If you re relayed this track in a straight line, you could probably do it at least about 60 miles an hour, but no, it takes its time. Alright, so once the, once the rear of the train's off the diverging loop, we'll get back up to 30, and then 50, and then 60, and then 90. As we enter Fort Pitt Tunnel, 429 yards long. So there you go. Come on, rear of train. There we go. Up to 30. 17 miles to go. That's it. That's good enough for me. FPS to get on TFS not recording. There's not there's very little difference between the two. Recording has a little impact on my recording, on my frame rate, I mean. So it's uh, high 50s, low 60s. It sort of stays that all the time. Depends on what AI is around and such. Alright, through Chatham we go. Nice. 
Yes. Let me get a shot of the poppy. The big poppy. I know one five. I think that screenshot took. Uh, okay, I think screenshots have stopped actually working now, which is always fun. I'm pushing the, the button, but nothing's actually happening. So that's always, you know, promising. Get out of here, get a bit more speed up soon. Chatham Station is at a point on both routes where um the tile where the net the tile loads up. So yeah. It's always gonna be laggy because it's loading up the next section of scenery at Chatham Station. Sniffing tool time. Yeah, I think it might have to be at some point. Actually, let's, uh, full power. Let's do it. In real life, the chat and mainland is driving down to Faversham, yes. And in this workshop route it is as well. So we can cross over here now, which is really weird. I've, uh, I've stood here and watched trains before. <laughs> Always fun. There you go. Look at that. Hey, that screenshot took. Yay! I just wasn't destined to take one at Chatham. Nice. Alright, 60 miles an hour. As we go through Gillingham shortly. It's going to be good. That's it. Speeding slightly, but you know. That's fine. Who cares? That's it, so fly through Gillingham. Very, very nice. Past Gillingham Depot next. It's probably going to look a bit barren. <laughs> it's, it's the morning peak. All the trains are busy running around London. That's, that's a perfectly decent enough excuse. That's it. Right. And shortly, be up to 90. The 90 board. Right, and let's let's, let's thrash, thrash it from in here. Off we go. Can't really thrash a, a modern EMU, but you can certainly try. Is it less than 15 miles to go? Almost 14. Straight up to 90. Then straight back down to 80. It's going to be good. Go past Raynham next. That's it. Virgin is not a high-speed train. They operate high-speed trains. So if you, my, if you say Virgin would be your favourite operator, not your favourite train. Alright, Raynham approaches. With its platform zero diverging off to the right there. Nice. 80 limit. Close enough. Close enough. Over the crossing. 
Down to 80. That's what we're looking for. What's it, Sheerness? The sea. The sea. As you shall see. <laughs> Put paper between the shoe and conductor rail. That's definitely a way of doing it, yeah. Or just have it rain for a little while first. That's enough. Or be icy. Icy's always good. Four tracks until Newington, and then we drop back down into two. We won't go anywhere near Sittingbourne. We shall diverge off to the uh, Sheerness branch before then. This uh, screenshot must be taken around here. Alright, see you, TC Trains. Thanks for watching. Screenshot one. And a second one for good measure. Excellent. Favourite turbo star? Probably the 168. Technically a clubman, but I'll take it. I, I'll, I, I, I let that I let that slide. I've set the scenario to be summer because the lighting's better, so you know. And besides, it's not always warm either. I've been I've been to the beach in the pouring rain once. That was a fun time. All right, 70 limit. Up next, about to fly through Newington Station. Gone. Back down into two tracks. Excellent. I love this line so much. It's so good. Ooh, just going over a crossing. Very nice. And the moon's in the background. Could you could you ask for a better shot? It's so good. There we go. I don't know how London's weather is, for I am not in London. Four tracks allows fast trains to overtake slow trains. In most cases. It's, we must have gone up a hill or something, because we're really not accelerating. <laughs> Like, not at all. Not that I'd worry about it too much. We've got a 13 and a 20 limit coming up. See you, Stardust. Oh, hello. Alright, that's for the, uh, for the horn. 30 limit, not far away. Start braking. That's it, nice and slow. Bring it down. Bring it down so we can go for a sharp left. That's what we want. It. Diverging off the main line now and heading on to the Sheerness branch. Off we go. Excellent. All right. Twenty limit at the end of this. Certainly very noisy out there. <laughs> very noisy indeed. Uh, 
that's it. Nice. That's a good little bit of braking going on right there. At least until we reach the 75 zone. Shouldn't take too long. That's it. Come on. 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. Nearly there. And off we go. Alright. Shinnis on sea, 6.83 miles. Let's do it. Go through Kemsley, Swale, Queenborough, and Shinnis on sea. It's going to be good. Two whistleboards very close next to each other. This reskin isn't available yet. Consider this the debut. Alright, here comes uh, Kemsley Station. An earmarked to close a few times, but it's uh, it's still it's still hanging around. Nice. Racing along the Sheerness line. No train goes along here this quickly most of the time. Alright, here we go. One train actually did overrun Sheerness station once. It's like a 10 car set of old slam door stock, and it just. Went straight through the station building and stuck its nose out the other end. What do you want? A 30 limit. I say. How exciting. Let's slow down for that then. That's it. It's all looking good. It's terrifying. I can't see that signal. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't see it. Although it looks like we've actually got a red, which is uh, exciting, to say the least. So let's keep on braking. So we're not allowed onto the Isle of Sheppey yet, it should seem. Right. Yes, there is a sound mod. It's been linked to a couple of times. Someone would like to link to it again. Right. I imagine... Considering we're a rail tour, we don't necessarily have the highest priority in places. So I imagine there's a, there's a train for Sittingbourne. And we're waiting for it to go past on the single track section. I suspect that's what it is. Let's have a look, shall we? Flying along the track. We've got any trains going on? Anything? Anyone? Let's have a look, shall we? Right, so we're there. And uh, we've got to wait for this guy. So it could be a little while, but that's fine. <laughs> These rail tours don't always go as go to plan. You usually end up having to wait around for a little while. But it gives us time to have a look around the scenery, take a couple of screenshots. I'm going to drop it into neutral. So. Take a 
take some screenshots whilst we can. Don't know why I'm pausing the game. It's just going to make the wait even longer. Look at that. Poppy Central. 395-014 didn't have poppies on its front, but 015 did. 016 did. And now 017 does, which is very nice. And in the uh, wheel trains as well, there's a poppy. Uh, I can't see the section from where it is on here, but at the end of every coach on 395-015 and 395-016, there is a little sticker at the end of each coach on the inside to um, denote its, you know, poppy heritage, if you will. Omnom action. Oh, I'm sure we can have a little bit, can't we? Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. It's got to be done. All right. I shouldn't have too much longer to wait. Just wait for this guy to do his thing at swell and get out of the way. Before he hits a scheduled service and we are only a rail tour. Essentially, it just means the people in the back, they're having a longer journey, which is, you know, they paid a lot for it, so that's good. Shouldn't take too much longer now. No image expected here. This is where the DOO sort of uh, cameras would pop up. So each one of these, there's 12. So each one of these, so that would, one would relate to that camera. The next one would relate to that camera. And the next one would relate to that camera. So that's what, you know, that's what they would be, but they're not right now. Alright, so we're probably running a bit early as well. Probably running a bit fast, so that's fair enough. I think he's just driving intentionally slow just to annoy us. I think that's what's going on. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's almost at swell, guys. This is gripping train simulator action. He's just going to come very gently round the corner, stop at swell, and then very gently past us, and then we can get going. But this is the pinnacle of action you've all been looking forward to. This is, uh, you know, intense gripping stuff. It really is. We're going to go be a passenger at swell. That's it. <laughs> I just saw the rear end of it. It should be here very shortly. Just got across the uh, the bridge, and then it'll be here, and uh, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. Can't see him just yet. Can't see him at all. He's just looking for the little flicker behind the trees. Any time you want, dude. Please don't tell me he's gapped himself on the bridge. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, I hear Spangle. He's got to be close. Those clouds are moving very fast. Here he is. Here he is. Better late than never, eh? Did you leave Sheerness late or something? Are you actually going to stop? Well, he's never worth him just for us. Literally. Yeah, we skipped the stop. That's excellent. <laughs> Means we get underway a bit sooner. That's always fun. Come on, dude. In your own time. In your own time. You think it's because the driver's in the back? It probably is, you know. And away we go. Ah, 
that's it. We're on our way. Through swale. There we go. I'm sure the driver would have been fully briefed on the rail tour happening today. Power for a little bit longer. Can't really draw power over the bridge. There is no third rail. That'll do. <laughs> Have to wait till we cross the bridge now. Technically. So just coast along. Let the downhill help us out a little bit. So, the front of our train is now on the Isle of Sheppey. We'll probably start drawing a bit of power now. That's it. Yeah, I, ga gapping yourself would be hilarious thing to do. I think a 376 gapped itself once, and so a 375 had to rescue it. That's always fun. Right, back up to 75 very shortly. Shouldn't take too long. In the real world, yes, the bridge raises itself. So not in not in train sim it doesn't, but in the real world, if a ship comes through that's too tall, the bridge can raise it, it can be raised. Which is why it's not electrified. Because trying to have third active third rail on a raising bridge would probably be a bit tricky. So your trains just have to coast over it. Unless they're diesel, of course. By gapped I mean when a train a third rail train happens to stop with all of its shoes completely off of any third rail. So if you stop in the wrong place, you've got no power and you can't move again until you're rescued. It's happened a few times. It could be just down to length of train versus a particular route you're taking. You just stop in the wrong place and you are you are knackered. It's always fun. So if you stopped on that bridge as, a, on a, as an EMU, you wouldn't be able to get started again until someone came and gave you a push. So, <laughs> that's fun. If you're short enough, you can go up for a little lift. It's always fun. Right, okay. Seems like we're being diverted via the uh, interesting route, which is, aka, okay, the wrong platform. Oh well. I try, right? 15 limit. Slow down, don't speed up. There clearly must be a problem on the line at this platform. Who knows? Making up the story to, to go along with my mistakes. It's fine, it's fine. No one will notice. The weather is just cloudy. That's that's all it is. I'm afraid. I'm afraid nothing else to report. Just cloudy. And probably quite cold as well. That's it. Coasting through nice and slowly, confusing everyone by going on the wrong track. If you haven't seen any Omnon, then you haven't been looking. Clearly. Yes, we're on the wrong track at the moment. We're supposed to be on this side. My story is for it that they're working on that side or something. And of course, it's Sunday, so there's no workers actually on the line. <laughs> Let's go. Not long to go to Sheerness now. Go. 
Speeding. Oh well. It's not a massive concern. Speeding's fine. Let's go. Straight up and out of here. There's Sheerness on sea. Straight up to 60, straight back down to 30. It's all good. It's all good indeed. Forced to get a pump car from the nearest depot, go to your train and push it. Yes. Yes. Or, or, or have a gronk. So you got to, so if you gap yourself in the wrong place, you've got to go everywhere around at 20 miles an hour or less. That'd be great fun. That's it. We'll shortly be arriving at Sheerness on Sea. Everyone will be able to go and have, get out and stretch their legs. Maybe go and grab some fish and chips. Something like that. If they're less than two minutes. <laughs> we shall see. To be fair, in 09, oh, well, yeah, Super Gronk. Okay. Why not? I think a screenshot is due as we go around the bend here with the moon in as well. It looks good. Definitely looks good. Cleared into platform one. That'll do. Just coast in now. A little kid. I've sat in the cab of uh, a 395 before. It was a fun time when I was little because it was in 2009. <laughs> it was eight years ago. Signs on the left. There, this used to be quite an industrial area here. A lot of it, I think, has been demolished now. But like the Sheerness Steel, which is uh, quite fun. So there'd be a lot of stabling sidings for the industry in the area. There we are, Sheerness. Arrived in good time, pretty much. Maybe a bit late, but you know. It's fine. It's fine. That's it. I'm not going to smash into the buffers. This is a rail tour. We'll, uh, we'll do well. Am I sure the whole train will fit? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I just set this up with no testing absolutely whatsoever. Have fun at the rugby match. Welcome to Sheerness on Sea. Very nice. Let's drop the HUD. Well done, I completed this scenario successfully. That I did, apparently. That I did, indeed. That was part one of the Javelin Rail Tour.